Hey, what's up guys? Steven the Salon Guy here, and today I've got a new video, and I've gotten a few requests for like something different, something new, but based off of like a modern faux hawk. So what I'm going to do is, this is uh, Ricardo from Hair Art Products, and I always use Ricardo mannequins or mannequins from Hair Art Products. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper this really short into the sides and the back, really short into the top here, and kind of blend it in going really short and gradually getting longer to where I'm going to actually leave a lot of length in the front. So it's gonna be like really extreme, very, very cool, hopefully something new where it's really short and this long, this long bit in the front is able to kind of go back and give some volume just right into the front but also manage to work it all into the length. So I'm ready to go guys, let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna break down what I did and this was a very, very complex haircut. A lot went into this, especially a lot of clipper work, a lot of scissor over comb work. But basically what I did is I used five zeros, which is the shortest guard. Basically it's like almost skin. And I did that throughout the side and the almost half back of the head. So halfway in the back is completely shaved and halfway up on the sides is shaved. Then I used a number three zero guard and I faded that up. Then I went from a zero, 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 to zero A, to one, to one A, uh, to one and a half, then two, three and a half, and then three and three quarters. I basically used every guard that I had to use on this haircut and to fade it up. And then what I did is I basically buzzed off the top, continuing from a number two in the top back, then a three and a half, and then three three quarters guard. And I went basically about a little more than halfway into the top of the head with the buzzer, all right? I know it looks it, it looked crazy and you can see the top is a lot longer in the front and you're like, how do I even blend this in? But here's the key to blending this in, is what you do is you comb everything back section by section to the shortest point that you last buzzed. And then what you do is you cut it. So you're creating a new guide. You comb everything back to that one point and you cut it. Then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that it goes from that shorter point and works into the longer point into the front. So then what I did is I did a lot of scissor over comb to make sure that that nice angle going from shorter to longer is really, really defined, really accurate. Um, a, lot of, a lot of cutting by hand to make sure that it really, really works in well. And then a little bit off the top and the front and the sides and you really, really gotta just keep working this in to where it's exactly how you want it. Now in the very, very corners, it is completely disconnected right in through here. Okay, so right through here is about, I'd say two inches long, right in these corners, and it goes into the very top here to where this part is the longest, and that's about, I'd say three inches right in through here. Okay, and let's just pan this down so you can see the top, how it blends in, I'll give you a nice uh, look right there, and also keep in mind, this is a mannequin head, all right? The way they sew the hair into this is it's different patterns, uh, it's not even completely, and it's gonna look a little bit different on all sides, so I tried my best with this mannequin head. Trust me, uh, this isn't the easiest to do, but I think it came out really, really nice, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Then I used Tidal Wave when it was wet, and then Money, which is my money pomade for that money look. Very easy to use, water-based pomade, looks great. Put that in to style it, and here is the end result, which I think looks really, really cool. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. We're almost at 300,000 subscribers. Uh, I need your help if you're not subscribed, so please subscribe, like the video, which I know you guys do, and also your comments. And I try to get back to every one of you, but I really appreciate all the comments. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.